Hello everyone and welcome back to another a must see chess game from the chess history from 1898 and in this chess game we have Harry Nelson Pillsbury with the white pieces the legend and his opponent was Max Jude in this chess game so Max Jude was an important chess master at this time and he was also the founder of the St. Louis chess club so let's see what happened in this very exciting chess game d4 by Fisbury, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, the client, knight to c3, b6, knight to f3, bishop to b7, and bishop to f4, bishop to d6, exchanging, and then c takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, and e4 by Pillsbury, bishop goes back, rook over, a6, bishop to d3, and Black is developing tonight, so black is ready to castle. Both players castled, and it is by to move. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? So, did you see e5? And can you see the purpose of this move? Pillsbury pushed the e pawn and sending the queen back, and it is white to move. What would you do again? So, pushing the e pawn and opening the bishop so this was the purpose of harry nelson pillsbury he kept his eyes on h7 and he sacrificed his bishop bishop takes on h7 and this is also known as the greek gift king takes on h7 and then knight to g5 hunting the king we have king to h6 moving back is not a good idea uh, because of getting in with the queen and how to defend the checkmate threat it is not that simple so this is why not going back but going down king to h6 and lining the queen with the king and you can see that Pillsbury is threatening something like knight takes on f7 also winning the queen check so king to g6 and knight to e2 and the knight is coming for the attack so knight to d5 both attacking the knight and defending on f4 and in this position, Pillsbury made a committal decision and he decided to sacrifice his knight as well. Queen to d3 and king takes on g5. Well, you might say what happens if king to h6, then this is basically getting checkmated by force and there is no defense. So f5 should have been considered, but it doesn't look appetizing because of knight takes on e6. So you can see that uh, black's chances are better for surviving this chess game. But also this also looks very dangerous for black. So okay, let's take it back. We have king takes on g5. And Pillsbury is throwing the kitchen sink to his opponent. f4, king back, check, king over. And then pushing the f pawn. And what else? He takes on f5 and then rook takes on f5 by Pillsbury and how to defend queen to h5 checkmate so rook over defending like this and then checking the king king back only move besides blocking with the queen Pillsbury played a move and Max Jude resigned holy smokes he destroyed his opponent very quickly well Pillsbury played rook takes on f7 and how to defend queen takes on g7 check mate so let's play a random move just to illustrate that and then getting checkmated. So after this move, if you try something like defending with the rook or with the queen, then getting checkmated. Queen to h5. Check mate. So don't be so shy to use the Greek gift against your opponent because it gives white a tremendous attacking opportunity. So okay. After Rook takes on f7, Max Jude, the founder of the St. Louis Chess Club, resigned. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.